welcome to the final introductory tutorial in using the shape generator with animation nodes. Last time, we made a simple animation node setup that creates interesting abstract shapes which you can change interactively. In this video, we will add a modifier node using a little bit of scripting to distort the shape and begin to make interesting effects, in this case a simple helmet. We will use the cast modifier in the script to do this. The process we use can be applied to many other modifiers which you can then chain together to get even more impressive results. If you are new to programming, we will be using a simple script which will also be included in the example files. Scripts are snippets of code that will run as a node. Create an invoke subprogram node as before. Click the small plus icon and select script from the drop down box. This will create a new node called script. In the name box, rename this to something like use cast modifier. You'll notice an empty box above this parameter, and this is where you specify what script to use. To create scripts, go to the script tab along the top. If you're new to programming, don't worry, this will be a simple script we prepared earlier. We will show you the main parts of the script and it will be available as part of the sample files on Blender Market. The link is in the description. Usually we would press the new button to create a new script, but we'll open an existing one called cast modifier. Here there are three main parts to the code. This first part gets the modifier if it already exists and then replaces it with a new one. The second part configures the modifier with input parameters from the node, which we will set up in a moment. Finally, the mesh is output from the node for follow-on processing. Remember, with some tweaks this pattern can then be applied to many different Blender modifiers. We're almost ready. Go back to the Layout tab and in the Script node select the script from the drop-down box. Next, we need to create inputs and outputs for the node so the script can work. First create an input by pressing the New Input button. The first input we need to create is the actual object going into the node. Type Object to select the right input type. When the input is created, rename the input to Object underscore In. Be careful with the naming as it has to exactly match the names in the script. The node takes one more parameter called Factor which is a float number. Once more, press the New Input button, and this time type float to create the new parameter. Type the word factor in the box that appears. Finally, create an output parameter so that the node can pass on what it created. Click New Output and select the Object Output type. Rename this Object underscore Out. Once this is done, connect the node up at the end, after the Object Material Output node. This will mean the script will execute after everything else has been done. Now try dragging the Factor parameter to about 1. You should see the effect of the Cast modifier in the viewport, which will change the overall shape of the object. Have a play with the other parameters in the network, and you will see the shape dynamically change. You could also add a Shade Object Smooth node at the end to smooth the result. We encourage you to now try adding other modifiers with additional script nodes to create other interesting configurable effects. This is the underlying process for more sophisticated add-ons, like the Shipwright, which uses a combination of modifiers. We hope you have enjoyed this short tutorial series. Please like and subscribe if you'd like more, and leave any suggestions you have for future videos in the comments. If you have any questions, visit Mark King's North Blender Market page, which is linked in the description, or on Twitter. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you again soon.